And that, and we don't really know. And that is such an important thing when you're navigating, recognizing that you don't know what the sensitivity of the economy is to monetary policy is critical to being able to navigate through this market. Well, and I think that's where the macro then starts to move into that you got to manage money. Right. And the recognition of these other positions that you have are diversifying, they're considering the probable outcomes that could occur. Right. And just because you're you're saying, well, maybe it's all Goldilocks, there's a 30% probability of that. That doesn't mean you weigh your portfolio with a zero allocation to the assets that would do well in that. Right. Right. If, right. if you're if you're well calibrated, you would have a probabilistic weighting to some of these outcomes as as you navigate and continue to course correct going through the uncertainty. Right. Right. That's exactly right. Is you want to you want to be able you want to be careful to not go all in on one of these outcomes. Like that is the most prudent way to manage through this cycle is is not not all in. And the other thing I would really emphasize is it's not just not all in, but also because you're uncertain. Like, why are you taking full, full, like whole hog leverage, like whole hog risk? Like, there's, there's no, you don't have to. Like, yep. it, like I, it, it's as if people don't recognize, like, yeah, hey, you just hold cash. Like, cash is fine. Like, you know, if, if it, if it helps you sleep better <laughs> at night, um, it's fine. It's fine to, to de 